In this video, we're going to have a go at creating a callout or detail of the foundation. So view tab, callout command, you'll notice there's a sketch option for drawing the shape of it, or you can just use a simple rectangle, which is what I'm going to do here. And I'm just going to click there and click by there. And once you've placed it, you can click on it and using the blue dots, you can drag and move things around and adjust how you want them to be. Okay, you'll notice in your project browser, you've now got a, a new section with call out on it. I'm just going to rename that. So right click, rename, foundation detail. You may have some other reference for it, um, but that's fine. First thing, check the scale. I'm going to change it to one to 10, which is more along what I would want for this detail. Drag that out a little bit. And let's drag these lines over here so they don't interfere with anything on the drawing. OK, let's now go to the annotate tab and we're going to do some regions. We'll do masking regions first. Now, with the line style of the masking region is important to pick for its um, boundaries. So we've got the center line and select it, and that's going to be fine for our block work. So I'll just put some rectangles around those and repeat this command a few times just to get the um, brickwork and blockwork sorted. And in fact, that one could just go right up there and cover the entire lot of that blockwork like that. And then we're going to do another region, um, masking region. This time I'm going to use invisible lines. So this will actually hide completely this area. Now what I'm going to do here, I am going to just click, just line that up there. And I'm going to create a bit of a wedge shape around a concrete by here as well. OK. So that's all invisible lines at the moment. Now I'm going to click on this line and that one I want to be visible. So I'm going to just make that one center line and then the big tick. So what we've created here is a nice clear area and that is that shape, which is what I want as well. OK, let's now do some work in this area with our bricks and blocks. So we're going to use the component command. And if we do repeating detail component, we have a selection, quite a good selection. So let's look at block work. So I'll just do block. Now we've got lightweight blocks and we've got more dense blocks. So I'm going to start off with the dense blocks and put those underground. Go to the bottom of the wall, go up to there. And we can see that that's obviously in the wrong place. So it should have been on the inside. So I'll just undo that and do it again. Now that's where I want it to go to, but we can see it's gone up too high. So we've got the blue dot there where I actually clicked. So I'll just press escape a couple times and click back on this. And what I'm gonna do is drag that blue dot down. There we go. So it's now just below the top of that block which means that block stops. So I'll have to put a brick by here to finish that off. Then we want to do the same again with the same dense block work over here. And I can see it's got to go to about the same height as that one, like so. Okay, escape a couple times. Now we want to do our lightweight block work. So we'll do that again. And there's the lightweight. weight. 
Now, as we can see, when I did that, it's actually put the joint in the wrong place. So what I'm going to do here now, if you try and do that and move it 10 mil, it may not work as we want. So I'll just show you. Oh, no, that one was fine. OK, so we that's fine with that one. Now, with the brickwork, I did have trouble earlier, so we'll see what happens with the brickwork. So let's now do a, another one and find the brickwork. Brickwork in section. OK, so we're going to click by here and go up over there. Yeah, now see there's no joint again. And if I click on the brickwork and try the move again, say 10 mil. Okay, um, it seems to be working perfectly. Now earlier I did hit the problem. Um, it actually seemed to connect itself to the block work. And when I moved the brickwork up, the block work moved up 10 mil as well. Now, a workaround for that, if that problem does happen, is actually to click on there. Instead of using the move command, use the blue dot to physically move the bottom of the boundary um, up 10 mil. And that seemed to solve that problem. So it seems to be something that you may or may not have an issue with. OK, now we can see as well that I've got the flat edge on the back and this indented edge on the inside of the cavity, which um, not really what I want. So I will just mirror that quickly. Find the center by there. And did I copy that as I centered it? I think I did. So I need to delete one of them. There we go. That's better. And then I think that does need just a little bit of a movement just to get it back in the right place. There we go, that's better. So there is our brickwork and blockwork looking quite nice. We've got the chamfer on our cavity fill, we mix concrete cavity fill below ground so that water is directed to the outer edge where we probably got a weep hole hiding in here. Now we can put the insulation in our cavity. So we'll click on the insulation button. The thickness of ours is 100. So I'll just type that in. And we could use the center. So I could use the center of that by there and do that going up. There we go. There's the insulation. Now we'll move on to the slab. So what I'm going to do here is a filled um, a masking region first of all and I'm going to do that over the insulation because it's got that fairly horrible looking square mesh and I certainly don't want that so I'll click on that and then I'll drop some insulation in there this time I'll change it from center to near side so I can click in this top corner and just work my way along there then I will do some more change the insulation width to 25 and we'll do our little upturn on the side by here. And this region by here, we will do a filled region. And I've got concrete by here. I'll just edit type and show you that you can duplicate and create these as normal and use this and find one of the many hatch patterns that are in there. OK, concrete being the one I've got for this. And now let's just draw. And I'll just zoom in to get that on there, like so. Now that's invisible lines at the moment, which of course I don't actually want. So I do need to just press escape a couple times, highlight those lines, and I'll just change them to center line and tick. And there's that. So we've got our concrete, we've got our insulation. We've now got sand by here. And again, we haven't got a very nice one there. So I'll do another filled region, change it to sand. OK, change it from invisible lines to center line. Let's get a little rectangle. There we go. That looks better. Now we've got the hard cord put in here and the backfill of the trench. So I'm going to use a masking region for this one and I will draw it out. I 
want to hide everything that's in there. Right, the exact angle of this is not really that important. Put that in the wrong place, that should be up there. I'll just do that correct, which means now I've got to correct this and then carry on drawing. Okay, so there's our masking region and that's now blanked that out. What I'm going to do here to show the hardcore, I'm going to just use some detail lines. That's on thin lines at the moment, I'm happy with that. And I'll just start down here, make sure I keep it at 45 degrees. And then as I come back down here at 45 degrees, and then wait until I get the lock. Okay. And then I'll just copy some of those lines. And let's copy those copy from there down to that bottom corner and I'll copy another bunch just in the middle of there and then delete the bits I don't need okay so there's my hardcore fill all right now what if we want to show our damp proof membrane because we can, so detail line. This time I'm going to go to a wide line and just click by there, just trace out where that would be. And if I just change that, it's now showing these lines a bit more clearly. So let's do another one because I just missed one. There we go. And then we'll put our DPC over here with the same. Like that. Okay. Now, if you wanted to at this point, you could use some other lines and sort of bring out a few extra little points, making them a bit more bold if you wished. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Now, the last thing you would really want to do then is just put some text in there. So I'm going to do that like this and just say, I'm not going to worry too much about it for now. So there's brickwork and then again, just use the annotate detail line. Don't want wide lines now, just do a thin line and just have a line pointing to that element. And again, we could then just label up what you're doing. So what I might be inclined to do here is just drag that over the text and bring that in a bit closer. But you get the idea. So that would be how you would create a a detail um, where you start off with a call out and then as you see you embellish it with all these extra features and you get something that looks a lot more along the lines of what you want at a, a scale that you have the details at. So thank you for watching the video. Um, if you haven't already done so please remember to subscribe to the channel and like the videos as well if you find them helpful. It does help with the channel's growth. Thank you very much.